So let's talk about the Gaganyaan test flight. The crew modular escape system is all set, in fact, for a takeoff. Module to be sent into space. And this is uh, how things are going to move from here on. The control touchdown is going to be in the Bay of Bengal. The timing, essentially, of this is going to be three days. The module, of course, is to re-enter the Earth orbit within three days or so, is what we know. Well, after Chandrayaan 3's historic success, as was all set to... In fact, uh, set with its second, with the other mission essentially, which is Mission Gaganyaan. The countdown to Mission Gaganyaan is officially on with its first test flight scheduled. Here is a detailed report. Our space heroes are all set with their next adventure. After Chandrayaan 3's historic success, ISRO is all set to kick off the ambitious mission Gaganyaan to send an Indian into space and back. And the first test flight will take place on Saturday, the first of 20 big tests that ISRO has planned for the near future to make this mission a success. We are glad to show you a kind of test module. It is called as the Integrated Airdrop Test crew module structure. So this is one of the original crew modules that will be tested and this, this one's purpose is to be dropped from a distance of 4 to 5 kilometers from the uh, atmosphere and it will reach down to the end. They will be doing multiple tests on it to find out exactly how the structural integration works. Gaganyan's crew module escape system will be live tested from Sri Harikota, a feature that is vital for the safety of future human spaceflight missions. This is a testing of the crew escape system using a new rocket called test vehicle. So it's a liquid engine powered uh, rocket. On top of that we have the crew module and crew escape system. So we will create an abort condition which is uh, corresponding to uh, speed of the rocket becoming speed of the sound. So at that time we will abort. The crucial test entails a launch of the module into space its re-entry into Earth's orbit and a controlled touchdown in the Bay of Bengal. The exact trajectory that the spacecraft will intend to take off, sending a three-member team into a low Earth orbit of 400 kilometers for three to seven days and then ensuring their safe return. This particular crew module will be used for evaluating the end-to-end -end sequential performance of the parachute system. So we have planned uh, several tests, uh, nominal as well as many off-nominal tests as defined by our own uh, design committees. So, uh, so for one of the tests, this particular structure will be used and we will have to repeat. So till we meet all the objectives what we have defined under the integrated output test, we will be repeating this particular test. The project is also being worked upon closely with our armed forces. The Navy will help with recovering the module once it touches down in the Bay of Bengal. And then, of course, the chosen astronauts will be from the Indian Air Force. While the training is top secret and details haven't been revealed yet of who the astronauts are, these images from earlier this month went viral, showing Indian Air Force men training for space. An ISRO manned mission to space could become a reality as early as 2024. And Prime Minister Modi has already made it clear he has super high expectations of our space scientists. Chairing a meet with the ISRO leadership, the Prime Minister has set clear deadlines. An Indian space station by 2035, a manned mission to Moon by 2040, and also missions to Venus and Mars. <laughs> The countdown is on and Saturday's test will be super crucial to ensure the success of the Gaganyaan mission. With Pramod Madhav, Bureau Report, India Today.